Apparently, Mexico is intimidated by the growing organic taco industry in America. Mexicans traditionally have supplied the world with tacos, but now, damn it, America is moving in. Here he comes. Harmon. Hey, Harmon. See, si. what's going on? What's going on? It's a pandemic, Angus. Holy shit. Pandemic? How bad? How bad? All over the Midwest and spreading. Where's your suit? My what? Oh, Christ. Angus. Come on, we don't have time. Give me that sandwich. What is that, egg salad? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm putting on the suit. Get your contaminated clothes oh, off. Didn't you read the manual? That's an antiseptic suit. No, 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 no. Sorry. Is it bird flu? No, it's not bird flu. Al-Qaeda connection? Oh, sure. Why not Al-Qaeda? Take the pressure off the Koreans. What's it spreading? Squirrels. Squirrels. Trees. Are you serious? No, I'm not serious. I'm not serious at all. But your level of preparedness is sketchy, my friend. You're on the A-team now. This is George Papard. I'm Mr. T. Who are you? You're that other guy. Look at you. You're like a monkey in a diaper. I can't believe I fell for that. You guys are notorious for these pranks. You gonna run with us? You gotta be ready. I'm honored to be your new producer. And I won't let you down. Good. Get that mold checked. We're happy, Lewis. Is that too harsh? No. What are you doing tonight? I got a blind date my parents set up. Check those crosswords. Guys? Which is not weird. Man's lock. Guys? There you are. Okay, do you know what's at work here? Pistas, indicios, anhaltspunkte, clues, clues. They're just everywhere. Okay, well, first, first I'm thinking of not going on the date, but then the good children of uh, Youngstrom Academy kindly, you know, they, they persuaded me to go. Two, my date duly arrives. And lo, not only is he muy caliente, <laughs> he likes my boots. Three, Steve says it would be great if I could be on the road with him. But of course I cannot because I have a job. Four, only days later I learn I no longer have a job. Which is obviously the final clue leading to the blindingly obvious answer. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> onward, Mary Horowitz, onward! Go be with Steve! <laughs> Mirzy? Yes? You remember the Yamamoto's. Oh yes, Kanbanwa, Yamamoto-san. Lovely to see you, dear. What do you mean you don't have a job? Oh, God, I'm completely missing the point, okay? Clues have been deciphered. I must journey forth. Journey forth where exactly? Ah! Voila, Papa. If it is news, Stephen is there. Arigato. Right now, CCN's Hartman Hughes is on the scene. Paula, I've just arrived at Wild Willie's old western town. Paul, I'm, I'm here with an old cowboy, Rope and Ricky, a close friend of the hostage taker. <laughs> Sir, what can you tell us about the alleged hostage taker whom you've worked alongside of for 12 years? Well, Wild Willie came to these parts in 1869, the son of a train robber, nine years old. Not son of Wild a... Willie, the man who plays the role of Wild Willie, John Baker of Sherman, Texas. I don't believe I know that fella. But Wild Willie started off as a stagecoach driver. He was a Pony Express rider. Paula, clearly the employees here are devastated beyond words. From the hostage tragedy in Tucson, Arizona, this is Hartman Hughes reporting from the edge. Cut. If you don't mind, could you please call it a hostage situation? It's just technically not a tragedy. Mm -hmm. Not a tragedy? Have you gotten a load of old cowboys makeup? Huh? <sighs> makeup on men. Where's he going? Huh? Oh, he's gonna go tan himself. He's not happy unless he looks like a pumpkin. Get ready for doomsday. Which is not. Mr. Hughes, wow, what a surprise. What's your name? Dave. Dave. Hartman Hughes, reporting from the edge. Okay, I'm gonna give you some information. It's vital to you, to the pretty lady, to Houston. Down here in the Gulf of Mexico, just past Dave's elbow, we've got a storm, Hurricane Laquisha, H4, dangerous. Do Galveston, Do in the worst tornado hours. season in Texas history. This is where it gets freaky. Houston, we got a problem. Cicadas pouring in across the Texas panhandle. Billions of cicadas, Dave. Funneling, bam, right at Galveston. All right, just a recap. 
got an F3 tornado. We've got an H4 hurricane. We've got billions of cicadas. It's a Category 15 wing tornado cane. We're going into it. Mrs. Horowitz. Uh, Steve, we, we can come. We can come. We're all ready. Come on. Oh, Steve, she's a good girl. It's just that people don't understand her is all. No, I know. She's great. I've seen the way that people look at her when she talks so much, and I, I've heard what they say. She's not like everybody else. It's like when, when, when they put one of those cones on a dog's head when he's recovering from surgery, and he'll just run around, not paying any mind to what he's knocking over and just making a big mess, but never meaning to. But that's our Mary. I don't know when it became a crime to be different. No, she's going to be fine, Mrs. Horowitz. I promise. Good work, dude. Hmm. Hey, you think this is funny? Ah, ah, I ran off on this. I know it's not the same ah, ah, fucking thing you asked, ah, but it's no shit. Shut up. Just shut up. Just shut yeah, up. Just shut up. There you go. Shut up. All right. Where do I begin? Harvey, for the love of stop panning. You look like a cheese nip. You look like an orange with lips. You look like a wrinkled peach. You look like the ugliest of mangoes. You look like a soggy peach. You look like a mango. You look like a liver lily. Yes. Stupid. You're a stupid meathead. You look like an orange meathead. You are an orange head of meat. Cause that's all you are as an anchor. You're just a slab of meat with a mic. All right? Deal with the reality, you old shriveled back baby rib piece of And you, Geraldo, moved away. All right, cop from the village people. All right, the, the wig's on backwards. Oh, that's a good look. Oh yeah, you're gonna fool everybody. The band's the same, dumb Stop complaining about your love life. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Oh, oh. At least you're seeing some I haven't seen any from my wife since Nam. All right, Natalia has given me nothing. And you know why? Because my is a little small. All right? But that's beside the point. I am drawing the line, you Just try and cross it. If you want to lose an arm, just try me. Because I will go to war. I will fight you. I am Jet Li, and you are my I am Bruce Lee, and this is a I don't know, a Bruce Lee movie where you're extras. All right? Just try me now. Oh, oh, oh! West side, Just try me. I'm not you. You, you. Yeah, I said it. You want to go right now? Let's go. Let's go, Jack. Yeah, I'm looking at you, liver lips. You too, Tom Selleck. No, it's a new day. You stood up to us, put us in our places, and you showed some little teeny squirrel. But it's nonetheless good work, good teamwork.